We can we're gonna play some more Delver this morning. Changing the list a little bit. Um, decided to try and cut a stifle, add a spell snare to kind of help with the play draw aspect of the deck. And I put two Inquisition of Kozilek's in the sideboard to also help with the play draw aspect of the deck. So just kind of trying some trying some stuff out. Not too much difference. Just kind of same stuff, different day. Bobby Stifle. Good day to you there, uh, Grim. I'm either going to play a bit of Delver today or play um, some Shadow after this, probably. The Modern is so gross. I would do anything for a Fate the Saluting Band. Band, or just a band like eight cards. I have been paired. Okay, and this hand is okay. It's not great, but it's kind of good in like a Delver Mirror. It's good against like a creature deck. Basic Island Go. You don't say, opponent. I don't really know what's going on. I can ponder for like days force of will, or I can just hold this pierce. I think I'm just gonna hold the pierce and pass. Yeah, no work today, Ray. My uh, Phil got neutered and he keeps licking his incision. So uh, I have to make sure that he doesn't lick his incision today. Okay, so now that we know what's going on, this could be a problem. Got a days. What I would do for days right here, because they they have a force of will for sure, which probably means that they're going to force of will the next play that they do. I could have just jammed pyromancer, but I think they have a force, and if they have like a freaking back to basics or something like that, I mean I don't know if they play it in their main deck. Unfortunately, I think we're in a spot where we just have to play out a threat. So let's go like this, draw Delver, flip Delver, we go, and hope we don't get back to basic. But I can feel it coming. Play on my Delver, sweet. All right, so now I play Pyromancer and Ponder. We have a Bob on top, so we're going to want that. Uh, we're looking for a Daze here. That's kind of like the number one thing we want. I almost feel like I have to shuffle this. I guess I can bolt my way out of like a Jace. Maybe get this Stifle to trade a card. The Bob's really good. Um, we don't really have a lot going on besides that. And hopefully this, we can turn the stifle into something. And if my opponent tries to like just jam Jace here, okay, we can waste like that, which is nice. Okay, Mentor. That's okay. <clears throat> so now we bolt this. I'm going to waste here, and then I'm just going to play Bob. Should have done all of this before attacking. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, geez. Now they have the back to basics. Felt like that was coming. So we're in a lot of trouble now. But such is life. I mean, we do have two bolts. They don't have a lot going on. Well, now they have a lot. Now we're just super dead. So this goes here. Yeah, we're just going to scoop this up. And maybe I was supposed to shuffle that ponder. I just drew like a lot of removal, not a lot of uh, not a lot of counter magic that went there. So let's bring in this. Let's bring in this. And let's bring these in. Cards I'm not wild about on the draw. We can cut our wastelands. We can cut Fork Bolts, Spell Pierce, Spell Snare, those are all good. I don't really love Gurmag Angler against this deck, but it may be fine. We might not have room to board in these Surgicals now. Four Bolts could be too many though, like I could just go down to like two Lightning Bolts. I could be a little loose to... Uh, to Monastery Mentor, but we're on the play. We're going to be able to lean on, like, days. All right, we're going to try this. I'll bring, like, these, some bolts back in on the draw. Probably. Or might not even sideboard, because, like, I don't know, the days are still solid against this deck. All right. This hand's really good. This is a matchup here where having Inquisition over Thoughtseize kind of hurts us. But the reason why I play Inquisition is because um, is because I didn't want to lose life in the matchups where like where I want to bring in like against like Grixis Control or something like that. Lose too much, have less too much incidental damage because like between Bitter Blossom, Bob, Bob, and Thoughtseize, it can be painful. No, Delver, why you do that? Let's get in here for one. And if we could hit a land here, that would be great. All right, nice. And then we're just going to shuffle this away. And we're just going to Inquisition our opponent. All right, well. I kind of just want to take this brainstorm. They chose not. What do they do with their ponder? They didn't shuffle. All right, let's just take this back to basics. It's going to be the card that gives me the most headache. And then, like, we can potentially find a way to cover the next one. All right, you got it. We'll pass. <clears throat> A little dangerous for the home team here, but and again, if they like flip the terminus here, we're just gonna let it happen, then we can play another one. So we know this is gone. We know like you know, these cards are somewhere in the top, whatever. I'm just going to brainstorm now. Um, I'm going to leave up because we can hit a red blast. So we know that they're going to play a land. I almost feel like I have to just shuffle, like ponder and then shuffle off of this. 
Because, like, they're likely going to back to basics me with, like, spell pierce up. So I need to find, like, a second way to second counter spell, I guess. I guess that was actually, like, forced and dazed the spell pierce. So, like, I just, I just messed up. Yeah, I messed up here. All right, well, hopefully this undoes my mess up. Yep, you can predict. Yeah, I messed up right there. Okay. This gets pierced. All right, you get your Fletcher Storm. Pick up this land so that if this resolves, we can draw like a blast. No. I'm not going to play the second one. Because this is six. They're, they're just dead next turn if they don't have an answer to what we're doing here. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Ponder. Interesting. I think I'm going to end a turn bolt this Snapcaster. Because it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I could just hold it. I could hold it and just attack. Yeah. I'm not going to bolt this Snapcaster Mage. They do this ponder. They chose to not shuffle, so I'm pretty sure that I'm about to uh, lose my. Oh, nope. They only wanted one off of that. Oh, Dart 13, subscribe to them. That's a problem. Hey, leave it. And I think I'm just shipping in here with the team. And then I'll just bolt bolt them before damage so that I get another token. And then, like, if they counter it, I can play another threat. Okay. All right, let's play Delver. Oh, I didn't know you were streaming today, Johnny. Now we just wait. Could be in trouble, but we've got two more bolts to look to look to. This brainstorm's a little scary. But they can't fetch again for the rest of the game. They can't force of will pitching the uh, uh, pitching whatever. Oh that sucks. You gonna play modern? You gonna play legacy? All right. We we in trouble. Water in the league of each. Nice. All right, you got it, opponent. So we know this true name is good. 
Where are they targeting? Oh, they got rid of one of their small, one of the little guys. All right, let's just get this. So I just attack. What happens? My opponent just goes block, 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 eat. Yeah, I'm just gonna play true name. Don't have a three on top. Don't have a three on top. Okay, they don't have a three on top. Now we just have to like survive. Snapcaster mage. Predict. Again, like this is this is, you know, like we're in trouble, but we're not that far out of it. We just need two attacks from our homeboy. I'm gonna block this mentor. So if they have two spells, they got it. If they have two spells, I'm just gonna. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll block one more of these, I guess. Take four. So I can take nine. Let's just go like this. Leave ourselves three blockers for next turn. All right, you got another spell there, friendo. That's decent. We're getting beat up here. So we're taking nine. Do you have another spell? Okay. All right, come on, baby. Another true name. So attack, block, 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 take one, two, three, four, five. We're just dead to like a spell. If we do it like this. Two, four, six, seven. If we play true name and hold, block, we block Snapcaster, block two monks, block a monk, block two other monks, and we're still just dead to a spell. So it doesn't really matter what we do here. We're dead to a spell either way. So like... Whatever. It's a tough way to go. It is a tough way to go. If you build this deck, Johnny, just TBR them. Wouldn't that be nice? If you build this deck, Johnny, you should build it with accumulated knowledge. I think. I think the accumulated knowledge version of this deck is much, much better. <clears throat> okay. All right, and now we go block, 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 take two, four, six, eight. Got it. GG's opponent. No, I think you need Mentor. Like, this deck has to win. And, like, Monastery Mentor is just, like, your, your free win card. Like, I see lists that play, like, three and three with their creatures. And then, like, get the Predicts out. Predicts just nonsense. 
Um, I think I think it's nonsense. I think like I think like just playing accumulated knowledge in monastery mentors, like how you got to be, because you have to win the game. You know, you can't lock people out with countertop like you used to be able to. So he's next play mission briefing, which is like, it's like kind of meme but it's kind of cool with, uh, with counterbalance. Like it's really cool how you can like set it and get him. You never play Redict. What does that mean? I think so. I'm not super sure. Basically, what makes Mission Briefing cool is that if you have... I never played Predict, okay. Is that if you have... Um, if you have a counterbalance in play, you can set your top of your counterbalance and cast another spell. And, like, in Miracles, like, the, the it seems like the Snapcaster body is, like, you know, kind of whatever. Like, you know, you're not looping it with Kologon's command like the, uh, like the Grixis deck is, and that's when it gets nuts. <clears throat> yeah, it's two spells for Mentor. All right, this hand is very good. We're on the play. This deck is just much, much better on the play. All right, so we're going to go with Bloodstained Mire because it might not reveal that we're a Delver deck. Like, they might think that this is Grixis Control. I'm going to draw the Force just in case I need to. I would be thoroughly surprised if I have to Force a Bull on turn one. But, you know. All right. And we're just going to jam Bob. I think I want my Wasteland. It's on top. Like, if we're playing against Scalding Tarn, I think that means either a Delver Mirror or a. Uh, means we're playing a Delver Mirror or we're playing against, like, Sneak and Show. Oh, baby. Force Pitch Pierce. Force Pitch Ponder. If they fluster storm my force of will, then I will just say days targeting dark confidants. Okay. So I will not pay for days. If they brainstorm here, I'm going to daze it. Okay. So we know we have a wasteland on top, so we're going to waste them. And then we have their next land covered. So I think we're playing, we're obviously we're playing a Delver Mirror. We're not dazing back. Why didn't you daze with the fetch on the stack? I could have done that. I could have done that for sure. <clears throat> I wasn't like sure what was coming, you know, like it could have been like, it could have been Fletcher Storm. Ooh. OPs on the same thing, it looks like. I'm not going to show the second wasteland. All 
right? Because my opponent has a lot of mana. I don't think that they have a removal spell or they would have used it. If our opponent is doing the same thing that we are, then like we could have gotten browned there with a stifle. Well, if they would have gotten if they would have flustered um my force of will, I would have let it resolve. It wouldn't have mattered with fluster storm. Right? Because if they'd have flustered my force of will, then I would have just let all of those resolve, and then I would have dazed their force of will. Right? Like like dazing with the fetch on the stack only really matters if they have days. Am I going to get true named? Get a force bud. Game over. <clears throat> okay, there's another daze. So I think I'm just gonna take out both of these red sources because I don't want my Bob to live and we can now daze an angler. I have no idea what that means, Johnny. <clears throat> I'm going to daze. Okay. So now an angler, they get an angler down if they've got it, which they do. Oh, they have a dismember. Okay. Dismember my Bob. Yeah, but you're, I mean, you're throwing away a card, right, Johnny? Like, it's one thing if you know you're playing against a Delver deck. But you're, you're, you're throwing away a card. There's, no, there's not a shadow here. Some people just play Dismember. Like, Dismember's, I mean, kills Gurmag Angler. All right. It was unfortunate that our Bobby didn't, didn't make it any longer. Jeez, they have so many lands. Opponent. Why do you have so many lands? I guess we do too. We've been wasted twice. They got wasted twice. <clears throat> Stifle on turn eight looking decent minus. But we might be able to cut them off red mana, which will be worth it. Yeah, I'm going to wasteland them in their upkeep. All right, so we're going to daze this, and then we're going to stifle the, the fetch land. <clears throat> Get an underground C. <clears throat> okay. Threat. Play our land. We're going to play this because we could hit a Gurmag Angler, but we're gonna, we might not be playing it into a daze. Okay, so we want to put the true name second.
Yeah, I think it's close. Yeah, I mean, that's sweet. That was a sweet play there. And, like, the more I play with Stifle, like, there's a lot of times when Stifle's, like, pretty medium. But, like, if you work hard, if you're, you're Stifle and you work hard, you be patient. Your Stifle is, I think it's going to do something. It's going to turn into a card eventually. Okay, so they chose not to shuffle. Okay, so they take this, and then I'm just going to jam tuning Nemesis. They seem to be heavy on discard. Our opponent has a daze here. We're kind of in trouble. Okay. Bob is sweet, yes. Okay, so we want Edict. Inquisition. We're on the draw, so we're going to cut, like, we're going to try to shave on our stifles. Just because stifle on the draws is, is not that great. So we want to cut our three stifles, and I think we're going to go two forces and shave a bob. This is what we're going to do. We're going to try to bring the bob back into the play. Uh, it depends on what your time is, Johnny. Like, I can play Legacy on Wednesday night. We can just stream. If you would like. And I think that a lot of people, like, the more I play this deck, the more that, like, Bob, like, Stifle, you have to understand, like, that sometimes you, you can't, dictate your entire game around stifle and you have to trust that like stifle is still going to be good the later the game goes hey leave it you have to understand that stifle is still going to be good the later the game goes because like um especially in these like delver mirrors like the stifle is still live that far into the game Oh, I have to hit submit. I could have I could have left Bob in and boarded out a um a third force. Alright, we're gonna keep this hand. And I think we're pondering on turn one. And we're definitely we're gonna fight over it. Alright, gasoline. We have our one Gerdad. Yeah, the Bob tech is nice. It, it wasn't mine. Like, Lauren, Lawrence Harmon was playing with Bob. And then Chad, um, I don't remember his name, Harney? Chad Harney um, decided to put Stifles in front of it. All right, we are going to daze this. How's it going, uh? Brad. So we are mucho behind O on mana O. <clears throat> are you still up from your I saw your stream go live last night at like whatever, some egregious, some late time. Are you still up? I think it's good. So if we can get to, if this resolves and we can get to the true name, then we might be able to race it. Okay, that sucks. This Delver has got a flip. Come on, little boy. You bastard. All right, I'm gonna play this Misty so that I don't get wastelanded. Because, like, we, we likely have to make it up to True Name to win this game. We second our seat schedule. I think this deck's good. I think, like, like what I what I disliked about John, what, of, of the Delver decks um, in the past 
was that your deck felt like Jund, and I don't really want to play Jund in Legacy. Especially when I can't, like, cheat on mana with Deathrite Shaman. <clears throat> All right, let me look at this. And this deck is this deck like solidly puts you in a camp, which is what I like. Like I, I top eight of the challenge with this. Uh, yes, I would like to reveal lightning bolt, and yes, I would like to draw it. I don't think I want to bolt this fairy. You bastard. Okay, well at least that's gonna let us play. Um, play Gurmag Angler with or out ahead of Stifle. Yeah, like it just it feels so uh, it just feels so medium. You know, like like it, you just feel like kind of like this pile and I don't really want to play a pile, you know? You got a dismember? Okay. Six or seven a.m. to one p.m. That is a rough schedule. Dialogue edict. Okay. I mean, at least like the true name plan is is what we're looking for here. Really hoping we can race this thing. Uh, I probably should get a second red source because I don't have that many black spells left in my deck. I want to get it some. What this deck needs is this deck needs a reliable plan to win on the draw. And, that, <laughs> and that's why today I only played three. Uh, I only played three. Ooh. Um, whatever the card is. I only played three stifles. Because you're just not that good on the draw. So I'm going to lead off with a bolt here. Because I don't want to get this bolt fluster stormed. And... I guess I can brainstorm for a delver. So that I don't get Diabolic Edict edicted. Oh shoot, now I've got a Dumbo. Well, I probably actually don't need Bob right now. I'll get a Dumbo because I didn't fetch off the right land here. I could just keep these. Or I could just play my Bob. I wish I had a brainstorm. I should have brainstormed off of this because I had I had these in my deck. I really don't want to get my Trunity Nemesis uh, hit. So like, what am I doing? I'm taking three damage going to eleven. Then I'm cracking them to eight. This Bob seems super sketchy. But, like, if I get Diabolic Edicted, I, I'm just, like, dead. And I have to shut, get rid of both of these cards. All right, whatever. Greatness at any cost. With only two forces in the deck and one of my uh and my angler already gone, the CMC is and like one true name out here, the CMC is pretty low. So I'm so lucky that I'm I'm so lucky that I don't have to go to work today. I mean, like Phil uh, got neutered on last week, and he's kind of like licking at his incision. And if his incision opens up, then we got to play Buku Dollars. Spell Snare, okay. And that's like whatever that we got Spell Snare there. Like we're out of resources, but my opponent's at 10. 
Yeah. He's right here. Go for a ride, Twitch chat. Taking a little nap this morning. Dude, Spell Snare is good in these decks. I think Spell Snare is just solid. Another creature or a lightning bolt here would be nice. And we, we messed up by not being able to uh, um, by not being able to like Inquisition them last turn. So they go to six. We go to six. They go to two. We go to one. And then we kill them if, if nothing changes. Whoa. Whoa. TNNU, you got a blast. Okay, you're dead. That's why I don't think this card's good in the mirror. Like, you have spots here where it's just gonna like, like you, you, you matchups where it's just gonna take over the game, but like this card just makes this bitter blossom so bad. Yeah. Cause like you, you just lose races to your own bitter blossom. All right. Lost the uh, lost to miracles. Two good games to miracles, and then beat Delver in two good games. And we won a game on the draw, which is nice. That's what this deck has to do. If this deck can win, because like yesterday in the challenge, I went nine zero or ten zero on the play. And don't even get me started with how Moto doesn't give the higher seed in the elimination brackets the play. Like I was the two seed, and I got I was on the draw against the seven, which was so annoying. Then another one of our friend, my friends was playing in an MCQ online and was the one seed and was on the draw in both of his games. It was just so annoying. Body bag. Mo again. All right. <clears throat> Put on the bottom. <coughs> no wasteland one time. Whoa. We're playing against slivers. We're playing against humans. Oh gosh. This matchup's probably not good at all for the home team. Alright. Reveal spell snare. And I'm gonna ponder. Like, it would be nice to be able to spell snare like a Thalia here, but I'm, I'm pondering for a land. This guy's going to, like, rock my shit with, like, Mantis Riders here. Gross. I got to shuffle this shit. Didn't have it. Well, they don't have a cavern. At least we can force something next turn. Yes. Says you're the home team. Dude, I'm the home team. You're watching my stream. Spell Pierce probably not going to do anything. Like, I'm, I'm way off of casting this Trudy Nemesis, but this thing can at least, like, you know, get me going. I'm going to keep the spell. Like, if I get to this true name, then, like, it's great. And the spell snare is likely going to trade for something next turn. Hopefully, I don't get Mantis Rider.
right? So now we just throw it out the window. We jam this uh, pyromancer. <clears throat> right into this mom. Mama. Then we draw a land next turn like professional. And we TNN them out. <clears throat> Do you play in the PT? I don't want to talk. Don't say such things, Brad. I play decks that can never beat Reflector Mage in a million years. So, like, I just assume it's not there. We got Reflector Maged. I can just play my Delver next turn, which is nice. God, I love me a Reflector Mage. All right, whatever. The plan has changed, boys. What if they go, like, whatever, violin, the lieutenant, LT? <clears throat> Rob, why are you happy you called it? You just called something that I can't beat. Yeah, I don't ever, like, it, I would be so much happier if this card just didn't exist. You have Palace Jailer Me? Jesus. Jesus Christ. It's miserable everywhere. I just get constantly destroyed by this card. Here's the cool thing. I'm going to attack, okay? I'm going to attack my opponent to get the Monarch back. I'm going to play my Delver. Then my opponent's going to vile an, emit, um, an image, copy this Palace Jailer, and take my vile. I decided the enemy would be home team. Why, why are you so mean? I'm not sure this is correct to attack here, but like, I think we're so far behind that I'm just going to hope that I hit like, Oh, wow, I get my Duder back? I forgot I get the Duder back. Give me a card. Any card. I wanted one that I could cast, preferably. Dude, are we going to, like, magically win this game? Probably not. But it's rude. What did that land ever do to you? Which my opponent would put a two drop on the stack. I kind of want to force this just to make a token. Because I don't want them to go like... You know what I mean? Is that like super loose? It's probably super loose. <clears throat> Do I pitch my Delver? Probably not. God, I'm not proud of this. I'm gonna keep the Delver. Like, if they have a spell snare, they're just, if they have a, a spell snareable thing, they're just gonna bring it in here. <clears throat> I mean, I just forced the Noble Hierarch. I'm not fine. How's it going, Tim? What a champion. Okay, so we can't really set up an attack here or a block here where we make anything get anything in here. So I can like chump this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chump block the biggest thing. My opponent can have the Monarch back. <clears throat> yeah. 
my opponent gets the the double. Flip to show me a spell. Come on, show me a flip. God damn it. Um, I have three blockers. One, two, three. One gets through. All right, well, whatever. Because, like, I, I got to get this. I think I need cards. Like, I need to make, make duders here. And this sets me up to where if I draw a spell to be able to block out and kill them with, like, these Delvers next turn. <clears throat> okay. Spell. Give me a spell. <sighs> I mean, I got a spell, I guess. That makes me feel good. Yeah, it's like a good spell, but like we just got a little browned. I get my four bolt. So now I'm just like one, two, three. Like what are the biggest things? Like this thing. I don't know. We'll we'll make we'll figure out the blocks once my opponent attacks. But like we're likely just True name, nemesis, attack, and then hopefully we hit two lightning bolts. Do they need more, more angry and exact with what you want? I've always beat around the bush too much. I've never been assertive enough in life. My opponent just had me dead. Like, if they swing out, I go block the biggest thing, block the biggest thing, take two, four, six, eight. Okay, so block this thing, block this thing, take four. I guess I just like keep my Pyromancer around. What if I just block here? This is three, three, five, seven. If I block here, both my Delver slip, my opponent has nothing, I kill them. We cannot block with the Delvers. I can just block here. We lose to Athalia's Lieutenant or Phantasm Image, but like such is life. All right, I'm going to flip my Delvers and win. You heard it here first. Two, four, seven, go to two. Okay. We don't have to. I mean, we get browned by... There, there are just too many things that we get browned by to, to sit here. It doesn't look like our opponent has anything. So we're going to flip both these dollars like a professional. You son of a bitch. Why are you like this? Why are you like this, little Delver boy? Um, none of my black spells matter. I guess I should just get an underground seed and not like, I don't know, to keep. Because I can go cantrip, cantrip. Yeah, I'll just cantrip off the underground sea. Oh, wow. Dude, we got Tilt Town USA, Population Dylan Hovey. No. All right. All right, so we're just going to send it in here with the squad. Maybe they won't block. We'll get the Monarch back, and then I'll draw Brainstorm into Double Bolt. Turn off auto yields. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how this game played out. Like, 
I think we I think we took a game. Does this matter? We can't crack it, so it doesn't matter. I think we took a game that we like shouldn't have won, and we gave ourselves a chance. Phil, no. Brainstorm. Oh my god. Why are they like this? Why are you like this deck? Why? <sighs> I love magic. I love magic. We're bringing anything that kills anything. These Inquisitions are probably good as well. I mean, my Stifles don't seem that good in this matchup. Diabolic Edict's probably okay. The Inquisitions are like the most maybe thing that I have on my sideboard. Gurmag Angler's ass. Telling Phil now, you animal. Uh, Spell Pierce is probably not good. Bitter Blossom creates like an endless string of chump blockers. Well, what is Stifle doesn't do? I guess Stifle will do some cool things. Like you can Stifle a Palace Jailer. You can Stifle a Vial. You can Stifle a Lieutenant Trigger. You can stifle a mom trigger. You can stifle a canopy. You can stifle a reflector mage. Okay. <clears throat> Do we have four TNN? Yeah, so like what I wonder if I'm supposed to do is like cut some of these stifles and then bring in bitter blossom also to like set a board where we can just like kind of chump out. But that might be like, they go so big that the one ones might not matter. And like diabolic edict's not that good, but it kills a creature. What does pyroblast do? Pyroblast kills reflector mage. That's it. I mean, yeah, edict just does stuff, right? Like, it kills something. And in a deck with Thalia's Lieutenant, if you can control the board, you're probably in good shape. Bitter Blossom seems much better than Stifle. I can buy that. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this. I lied. <clears throat> and meddling mage. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is a good hand. If we don't, if this doesn't get wastelanded, this hand's sweet. If this hand gets wastelanded, then we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, like, go by gospel with my sideboard in here. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, I probably want more forces on the draw because of Aether Vial. I think I'm going to daze this and then wasteland this. I think that is my plan. Like I could just abrade this, but I think I just want to go Days Wasteland, and we're gonna flip this Delver. God. Oh, I love magic. We can still hit a mom. We need to. Come on. Jeez. Because we hit that, I'm just going to lightning bolt this. 
because we can build our way up to eventually dealing with like a um, Athalia. Are my like Delver hits messed up? Like, let me look at my like, yeah, like that's annoying, but we're, we'll get there eventually. Okay, Champion of the Parish, Campbell. I'm going to hope they don't draw a land for this. And I think I'm just going to play Lieutenant because they can't double spell. They can't cast the Vial. So I'm just going to take the Stally as Lieutenant. Man, we're, we're having a tough time with these flips here. Like, let me look at my deck. Oh, they drew a Wasteland? Gross. Okay, so like in the main deck, I have 27 flips, which I don't know is that's low, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was at when pre death right shaman. I don't know how far. I mean, I brought in bitter blossom. I've sided out one of these, so I probably have 26 hits. I probably have 25 hits because I brought in the Staticaster too. I may have 24 if I brought both in. So yeah, so my delvers are a little low. I'm going to, I think at this point, I'm going to offer this trade because I have to kill uh, this. And like this could get out of control. So I think I'm going to offer this trade. Like I'm not going to block with it while it's a, like if, it, like if I just hold the block and they play a human, that's so bad for me. <clears throat> this whole match has been a beating. Oh, man. All right. This cam ball is going to become a problem, though. Because, like... I just have to like find a way to deal with Campbell, I guess. I think I'm gonna kill this Thalia with this on the stack, or maybe I have to just kill the Campbell. It is. Kill this. Take four. Edict sex this. Alternatively, I can just kill this. Maybe I have to kill this thing. Like, my, my mana is developing, so I think we're just going to take care of this champion. And then we're going to flip this Delver and then probably have it on blocking duty. Yeah, Thalia is pretty medium at the moment. Thank God we drew so many lands to make this Thalia not good. <clears throat> I guess I can go like Diabolic Edict Wasteland you and then I just have to beat the board which is like going to be hard enough because we go to 7 Go to take four, go to three, and then try to block here. We can hit true name assist to stabilize. Yeah, I think this is what we've got to do. So they sack here. Then we wasteland this.
And do I chump block? I don't think so. I guess go to three and flip my Delver. <clears throat> Problem is they just attack with Thalia. What do I have left in my deck? One, two, I've got bolts. I guess I want to make, because like if I don't block and I go to one, then Fork Bolt's not a live draw. Jeez. Ugh. No, I don't think we have an out. Like, true name? Jeez. That was savage. What a beating. Ugh. Maybe I, I boarded, because like, I, I don't remember exactly how I boarded. I'll have to look. But like I boarded in Bitter Blossoms. I think I boarded in both Bitter Blossoms and Static Caster. And sided out Gurmag Angler, which made it so that I went. I added. I had 25 Delver flips. And even with, 20, with only 25 Delver flips, I'm being a little results oriented, I guess, when I get frustrated about that. I don't know. I don't know. Shuffle pwned. All right. I'm gonna go get an underground C. Play this deck and play this uh, Delver. And like as long as this doesn't get wastelanded, whatever. Island Ponder. All right, so we probably just jam this Bob and hope they don't turn to us. A daze would be nice. Flip to daze. Flip to brainstorm. What do they do? They chose not to shuffle. I don't think we're playing against Storm. We're probably playing against Sneak and Show. And they would need, like... Two mana land or like land, lotus petal, fatty. Right. We're just going to press here. Okay, they forced that pitch snap cast switch. Okay, so we're playing against Miracles. Oh, we're playing against Grixis. Okay. <coughs> Baleful Strix. I could just go Waste Bolt or Waste Delver, which is probably what I want to do. And then I'll – let me brainstorm first. Okay, we drew a Daze, which kind of fixes all of our problems. So let's put back Bolt, Bolt, Wasteland this. Play Delver, pass. Yeah, dude. They flip. Yeah, I really want to daze this just to brainstorm lock them. Like with two bolts, I'm just going to daze this. I'm just going to brainstorm lock them, attack.
Like, just have them get stuck with whatever they want. I guess this is kind of loose like a Colgon's command, but... So our top card's Bolt. I could brainstorm for a land drop, but I'm not really about that life. All right. So we put back this and this. That resolves. Um, just in case they, they play something weird like days. <clears throat> okay, take my lightning bolt. Got it, chief. Start by attacking. This is where Bob just like wins the game. I'm gonna draw this because like it hits Baleful Strix. <clears throat> I guess I stacked that wrong. So I was gonna reveal. I don't I don't have that down yet. Like sometimes I sometimes I mess that up. So we can hit Gurmag Angler. Jeez. Um, I guess I just flip. I guess I just draw a force. Draw a force, reveal Delver to Bob. Then have Stifle underneath it. Okay. So against Grixis, I even like Stifles on the draw in this matchup. I don't like Gurmag Angler uh, because, like, I, I hate Gurmag Angler against, like, the um, the Baleful Strix deck. I like Bitter Blossom. I like Pyroblast. And I like Inquisition. Oh, that makes sense. I have to cut some things though. Like I probably want to cut one of these, probably can cut like one of these and then like two of these. We've got 26 Delver hits. Sometimes I like boarding out a land against a deck that doesn't mess with my mana base. So I think I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring these in because this deck's just so mana hungry that like if I can mess with their mana, like it's just gonna do so much for me. Like that's the way that like I like I like and the, like they're not messing with my mana base, so like I don't have to worry about getting wastelanded. And I'm just gonna go like this. I wanna keep just enough lightning bolts in for reach. They have the old 62 card special. We have a no land heater. Look at this. We board down a land. Draw no lander. All right. Keep this one. Put that on the bottom. Oof. Oh, daddy. We drew a daze. If they go to kill this Delver, I'm just going to let it happen. Because I would like to be able to daze a Baleful Strix. And we have another one. Uh, 
All right. Don't Colagons command me, bro. Oh yeah, that's worth thinking about. Like we could just get mooned right here. I don't. Maybe they don't have moon. What is this? Really out of the veil cards. I can't beat for a hundred. All right, I'm just gonna play this Delver and hold up Pyroblast and pray this Delver flips. Him. Okay. It appears neither of us will have anything after this. <clears throat> Don't kill my Delver. Don't kill my Delver. My Delver's gonna die. All right, come on, flip. Damn it. So we know my opponent has something good left in their hand. We're just going to make this hard to beat. A yield. A yield opponent. We got bodied. We got bodied there. Um, and again, our, our decks, we're on the play, so I'm excited for this one. We're just going to submit. I could bring in, like, I could cut more forces on the draw, but I don't really want to do that. All right. Days in Wasteland. Take me. Take me to the Promised Land. I'm not going to play my Bloodstained Mire. I don't want to like tip them off if there's something weird going on. I definitely got some people that thought that I was playing like Grixis Control or Grixis Phoenix when I played this. Like I would just go land go and then like stifle them. Some people just didn't know what was going on. This hand is pretty solid. I'm not really, I don't really want to daze anything unless it, like I'm, even if it kills my Delver, I, yeah, I'm not dazing that. And I think I'm just going to play this Bob with double days and then like go to work on that next turn. What did they do with that? They chose to shuffle. Jeez. Um. And however tempting, like I usually love to just smack someone's wasteland after they go ponder shuffle that, but I think just getting this Bob with double, double protection out is going to be really nice. I don't think my opponent has another land. I was severely wrong. Get rid of that. And now we're going to waste them off blue. It doesn't matter how we stack these because it's all random. No, we take three off our true name, which is kind of sad. I'm just going to waste them. Like Our board's already good enough where I don't feel the need to like build up to this true name when I can disrupt my opponent. Oh, I would love to be able to stifle that. Okay. And now we're just going to bury them. Doesn't matter. Pyroblast. What is this? What do I want to reveal? No. What a tilt. It does matter how you stack your creatures if you have a fetch land in play, which I should have played my fetch land. Because 
then I can go like put Bob, put Delver first, like flip to force and then shuffle. If you have a force, okay. All right, brainstorm. No, my Delvers don't want to flip. And again, we're not going to commit anything here. We're just going to pass. But now we're going to go, um, we're going to stack it so that Bob goes on the stack first, but Delver resolves first so that we can look. Yeah, my Delvers have been shy. I think this is reserved for like a Snapcaster or a Jace at this point. Dank Blast. Okay. Now that my opponent has Dark Blast, I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm just going to play my true name. Ooh, or I could just wasteland my opponent and then wasteland them again. Get rid of your blue source. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not working today, so I have to take care of uh, I just watched the Philly boy today. I'm play another Delver. Like if they wanna spend their entire turn. I can just play two Delvers. I think I'm just gonna play two Delvers. Like if they spend their whole turn dark blasting, then like that's not really a winning line. And they've already used a deluge. All right, so we want to resolve this like this, and I'm going to brainstorm. Okay, and they just scoop it up because we're gonna put them to we're, we're gonna like reveal pyroblast, wasteland them, and have stifle up. And that's that's a matchup where it gets much better having stifle. Because like that deck has such a high quality of spells that being able to uh, disrupt their mana is, is is very important. Like that's what that's what something I didn't really like about the other deck is like I just feel like you go on to go toe to toe against this Grixis deck, then like that's just not like I don't I don't want to go toe to toe against the Baleful Strix deck ever. Never, ever. And this is just another card. Like, you know, the way this deck is set up on the play, like, you're going, like, your normal Delver, your sweet Delver Disruption package into a great turn two play. And it's tough for a deck like that to hang with it. Miracles is a little harder of a matchup. I need to figure out, like, I don't know if I want, like, a third blast, another discard spell, like, something for the Miracles matchup. We always have... 50 people in here this morning. I appreciate y'all for showing up and hanging out. Hope you're all having a great day. Good start to your week. <clears throat> I really think Bob is also just nice against all the control to all the uh, combo decks because it just sits there and digs you to an disruption. And if you ever have a brainstorm, if you bob a couple times, you know that, like, you know, when brainstorm gets, the more cards you have, the more selection you have, the better brainstorm gets. So how's the chat today? What are you all up to? I'm getting a lot of views lately in Legacy. I used to not, but 
I think with the influx of arena, um, with the influx of arena that we, uh, with, how do I say this? With the influx of arena and the the like the blow up of, of standard content, I've been getting more views due to my modern and legacy content, even though there's more eyes on standard. And part of that is because like I still play standard on Modo because of the amazing card hoarder, which I can actually just, why don't we just do this while we can. So I appreciate everyone for showing up. My name's Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. If you need magic online needs, you should go to Card Hoarder. They, you know, create, they enable streamers like myself, and they've also got a great mentoring program for the Pro Tour, and they now have a rental program that has an, that you'll never have to deal with a limit as compared to its, uh, like its competitors, and it's very competitive pricing, and it's more of like a, a pay-as-you-use kind of thing, not a, you know, monthly system. Uh, I write for MTG Corner, usually have an article weekly. I think today I'm going to write about, this week I'm going to write about how uh, the new mulligan rule impacts Death Shadow, or how um, the Legacy Challenge went for me. Uh, if you want to interact with me on Twitter, that's all linked below. Uh, I love talking about magic. It's about magic, beer, and my dog, and Tom Brady. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you can always find my stream replays on YouTube. So if you like, if you want to support me, the best way you can support me is to go to YouTube and just subscribe to my YouTube page. Because I'm pretty close to being monetized and being able to apply to actually make money, however much it is. And last, I learned to play Magic in a store in upstate New York called Gamer Craze. They foster a college environment. There's like four or five right around them. So um, you want, there's four or five colleges right around. And uh, so they have like competitive pricing, you know, they'll, they'll make you a deal. They have good pricing. So that's, that's everyone that takes care of me. Um, I think I'm on a mulligan. Like we're on the draw. If we were on the play, I would be more into this hand. Or we or if this was like a brainstorm. But I think I'm on a mulligan on the draw. This hand is not much better. Um this card's fine. Research was canceled. Nice. Polluted Delta into Delver of Secrets. Okay, so how do I navigate this? I really don't want to open myself up to getting this ponder days and then getting wastelanded. So I think I'm just going to play Flooded Strand and go. And maybe, like, because of this flooded strand, they don't think that it's a Delver mirror, and I get lucky and I can nab something. Or I can, like, incentivize a daze on their turn so that I can use my ponder and wasteland them on my turn. Because I, I don't think I'm going to be playing Pyromancer unless I draw a... Uh, unless I draw a daze. So let's get Volks because we have more of those. I'm, I'd be willing to bet this land's not long for the world. And I think this is a shuffle because we don't we don't have any days. We have threats. We have a little bit of counter magic. We just we can't get like getting days would be horrible. And then I'm just going. I'm going to waste them in their upkeep. As poor as this sounds. I might waste them in their draw step, depending on what they do with this land. I think red is more important than black. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste them off of red. We just have to hope to not get wastelanded, which you know, a guy can hope. We'll wasteland them back, and then it's a whole lot of nothing going on here. All right. I'm going to wasteland them in their upkeep, or if they brainstorm here. Basically, if they tap their mana, I'm going to wasteland them. If they don't, I'm going to upkeep it. I might as well see what they reveal. Oh, 
uh, in reveal. So that probably means they have another land, but like this land's not really doing a lot for me. I guess it could allow me to play around days. Like they either drew a spell or land there. Okay. So maybe it wasn't right to waste land there. Land. All right. At least his Delver hasn't flipped. Well, the Delver flipped. Two a brainstorm. I have another land too. All right, I'm gonna take one more draw step, and then we'll call it. Okay. I yield opponent. I yield. Immediately flips. Yeah, I mean, I was lucky that it didn't flip earlier. So I want this Edict, and I want these Blasts. Um, I don't really like Pierce, and I'm going to board out these. Like, Spell Pierce and Pyroblast basically do the same thing. But Pyroblast also kills Delver and counters Truni Nemesis. I could cut one more. But I could just cut all of my forces because of Bob, which I kind of like doing. Like, I could just bring in. Like, I think I'm just going to bring in Discard. Like, let's try this. I haven't tried this yet. I've been leaving in, like, a couple of my forces, and basically, like, I've left in more on the draw than I have on the play. But I'm just going to try this out here. Keep my curve a little lower. Because, like, this is where, I mean, in the mirror, Bob can be a little sketchy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep this. We can bolt a Delver. We probably won't. Probably wait till our turn. Bolt a Delver and daze them. Or waste them, bolt a Delver. Okay, we even drew another land. So I'm going to go get a Valk. Waste this. And bolt that. I don't really want to play my Pyromancer into a daze. But it, it sets them back so far. I think I'm just going to wait one more turn to play around days. Because they can just go like island, tap the island, and then bounce. And then like I just lose my Pyromancer. Didn't really get anything out of it. Well, now I'm going to play my Wasteland. I think. Because I should have fetched a red source there. That was stupid. Well, now I was going to leave my days up anyways. Because like now if they act, then I get to Wasteland them, which makes my days better. And even if they go like days, I pay. Like maybe this is wrong to do. Do it like this because like I don't get a get. Like I, if, if they kill this young Pyromancer, I'm not just bolting them to get a token anyways. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in the upkeep if they. Okay, so let them brainstorm. And then I'm just gonna date. I'm just gonna waste this now. 
not giving them the opportunity to go like upkeep, bolt my Delver, bolt my Pyromancer, daze it, pay for it. We're just going to deal with this right now. Bam. We can still daze a we can still daze a true name. No, I mean they're not gonna have the opportunity to play a true name nemesis, but it's a cycle. Bot scour targeting themselves. Okay, so that the brainstorm's still cleared anyways. So they're on like the turbo Gurmag Angler version. I might have dazed that if they were brainstorm locked. Okay. I'm gonna daze this if this is a Gurmag Angler. Basically if it's anything. And daze me back. Okay. Leaves us, leaves us open to getting true named. That was a good hit. Didn't have days last turn. I've already used the bolt. Could have an edict. Many, many ways to kill this thing. Okay. Ooh, another angler. Another angler is no bueno. I need like a brainstorm, pretty bad. Delver is not great. And I'm gonna play this land out. I should have played out my underground sea to bait them into. No, uh, this baits them into into wasting underground sea, which is. I have more red spells. <clears throat> I need a true name. I need a young pyromancer. Um, an edict. So, Flusterstorm kills me anyways. I think I have to double bolt this angler. Um, I might as well play around Spell Pierce. One, two, three. I'm going to do it in my opponent's upkeep. Because, like, no matter what, I get destroyed by Flusterstorm. This makes so I don't get wrecked by Spell Pierce. Plus Storm ends the game. Force plus blue card ends the game. Thought Scour doesn't really do a lot. <clears throat> All right, they milled some good ones. But we're on empty here. All right, Wastelands at this point doesn't really matter. They could, I think they might be building up to a hard cast force. Okay, let's leave that in hand. At least that's what I think. But I think they have Force of Will in hand. Okay. I think we might be out of Underground Seas. No, we have one more. Okay. I'm going to fetch before I do this. Well, how many relevant black sources? I, I would want to cast a discard spell or Gurmag Angler or Bob. So I'm going to fetch. And I might, I don't want to like have to not keep. Jeez. Okay. 
So this Bob lives, I'm taking three, which is a little scary. Okay. That clears the way for our TNN on top. Just hope they don't have anything here. Ooh, there's a Gurmag. Gurdangle. Gurdizzle. All right, so we need no days, edict, or rev from our opponent. It's been a good game. We have a days on top. Gert angle. Pyromancer's bad. Bad for the home team because we just drew a days. What do we have? We've got one, two, three. We've used three bolts. So we have one bolt and a fork bolt left in our deck. God, how nuts would a fork bolt be here right here? So we do flood strand. I think we're gonna lose this one. Which is a little unfortunate. Flip two and a braid, okay. All right, I mean, that's, well, the problem is they have to abrade, they can just abrade their Gurmag Angler, I guess, to get out of this. So I guess we're just going to upkeep Edict them, then they just go like abrade target Angler, sack the, uh, sack the Pyromancer token. So we don't really get much out of this. The only thing that this does is it clears one of our threats. Yeah, I mean, just a braid your air, just a braid angler. Yep. Okay. And they sack this. Is such the beating? Now nah, we're pretty dead. I didn't side in my electricery. Which maybe I should have. Like, I like Marsh Casualties is pretty solid this matchup, but I don't like playing Marsh Casualties while I have a lot of Pyromancers. We chose not to shuffle, which is bad. I need a removal spell for this, like right now. Alright, I yield. I yield, opponent. Okay. We're going to jump back in for another league here. 